What is up guys, this is Craw here, and today I'm going to be taming this max level Gallimimus, hopefully. So yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to trap this Gallimimus right here, because, uh, uh, you can't bowl of these things anymore. Wait, what? Oh, the Overraptor got scared of the Gallimimus. Yeah, I forgot that they can do that to, uh, passive creatures. <laughs> I forgot that they can get scared of passive creatures. Um... Oh, I already see a Dilophosaur. This thing's been running around a little bit because things keep they keep attacking her. Um, so they made a change where you can't bolo these things anymore, and you can't pick them up with Quetzals, you can't pick them up with Argentavises. It's because of like certain exploits that were made, I think. Um, certain exploits that were being done, and the Arc Devs were having none of that, so they just cut that feature entirely. Ooh. I mean, these things don't have much health, so if I attack it accidentally, even once, like, her health is gonna go, it's gonna plummet down. So, I have an idea. Uh, because they're around the same size as, like, a Procoptodon, and because Procoptodons also had that change done to them where you can't bolo them anymore, um, a really good, simple trap to do is just to get four wooden billboards and just to surround them with it. Now the problem is, um, oh, hello, hello Quetzal, where are you? There you are. What level are you? 50, you're terrible. Okay, hopefully I can trap you in right here. Oh God. Damn it, no. I mean, these things move around quite a bit, so it's gonna be, difficult to get her to stay still um oh, not again come on okay trap okay and they're quite noisy too Should be trapped. Hopefully you're trapped. And so with Gallimimus in this game, I don't know if you can't do it, but it's very inadvisable to use trank arrows on these things because pretty much every single time you will end up killing them accidentally because they have such little health. So yeah, you pretty much need to use um Trank darts, um, I think shocking trank darts should work as well. Um, but I'm just using regular because they're, I'm just using regular darts because they're cheaper. Ooh. I forgot you could get headshots on these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. You don't need to wait. You just, there we go. And there we go. She's down. And oh my god, she's almost dead. Ooh, see these things. Yeah, 660 health. That is terrible. Um, the melee damage seems pretty average. Um, oof. I mean, if I'm planning to do mutations on these things, it's mainly just going to be like health and stamina, if anything. Um, maybe a little bit of weight, a little bit of stamina. Or sorry, no, health and melee damage. I might have said health and stamina. It's mainly going to be health and and melee damage that I'm going to have to put a lot of mutations into, and maybe a little bit into stamina and a little bit into weight, um, just in case. Okay, so she's tamed, and I ran her stats through build decks, and um, her stats are pretty average. Um, health is a little bit lower than I would want it, but um, yeah, it's not that bad. These things don't have really have good health to begin with, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, these guys are pretty useless, both for PvP and PvE. They're very useless. I mean, unless you want to, like, on PvP, you want to, like, troll someone's base by, like, having, like, you and two friends just, like, zooming by, like, an enemy base and just, like... I don't know, just causing a ruckus just to screw with them. Like like a suicide mission, like a, 
That's that's like the only thing that they could be useful for. Because, I mean, these things are fast. And they can jump pretty, pretty good. They can jump pretty far. But their health is terrible, and their melee damage is also terrible. I mean, let's just find something to fight around here. Also, they're quite loud. They're very noisy. Oh, wow, that is awful. These things aren't even mate-boosted. Like, the things I'm fighting aren't even mate-boosted, and it's doing 32 damage. And this thing had average melee damage. Imagine this thing with, like, if it had, like, less melee damage. Oh, hello. It's the same Quetzal, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, these things are very bad in combat, so I'm going to need to, if I'm doing mutations, I'm going to need to put a boatload of, like, health and melee damage mutations into these. Also, another thing that I'm not a fan of about the Gallimimus in this game is that I wish they were just more feathered. Like, I mean... It, like, Gallimimus looks so weird without feathers. I mean, maybe it's just the nerd in me, but they look so weird without feathers. I mean, there's a little bit of feathers on the head, but that's pretty much it. Like, there's no feathers anywhere. Like, these things in real life would have been heavily feathered. Like, pretty much only their toes, their fingers, and their faces were, were the only places that wouldn't be covered in feathers. Now it just looks like a weird, disproportional lizard, and I don't really like it. <laughs> I'm not really that much a fan of it. Like, it's gonna take me forever to kill this parasaur. I mean, you can't have, like, two passengers on these things, but, I mean, their weight is not that good. I'm just realizing, yeah, their weight is terrible. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't even carry... You, you probably wouldn't even be able to carry your tribe mates on the on these things. And so these things would probably be good if they were like, if you could get them like early game. But I mean, you need darts in order to tame these things. There's no way people in late game are gonna bother to tame these things. Because by the time you're able to learn, like, Trank Darts, you already have, like, probably enough capabilities to tame, like, something way better than this. So, why would you even bother taming this? Like, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get their thought process. Like, they just, <laughs> like, when they were making these creatures, like, they just thought that, like, people were just gonna tame everything just because they could. Like... You can't just make a creature expecting people to tame it just because it's new content. Like, it's just... And people to tame it ac after the fact. Because these things are awful. <laughs> They're so useless. Just make them easier to tame, I guess. Then they would be, I guess, useful. Like, make them easier to knock out. Make, th make them not... Make them, like... I don't know. Like, make it so that you don't need... Make it so that you don't need Trank Darts in order to tame these things. Make it so that, you, like, it's really easy to tame these things. And so, it would actually be kind of worth it. I mean, I can see how it would be useful early game just for scouting out and getting around and stuff like that. But, like, mid-game or late-game, like, these things are not useful at all. So I'm actually really curious as to how good an uh, imprinted and mutated version of these would would be. Um, I'm very curious. I don't think it would be that good, but I'm still gonna do it anyways. Oh, and they can gather berries, but that's pretty much it. No, piranhas, no. Like, wh 
what can I drop? Like, this thing is so way down. Like, I can't even run at top speed. Oh, hello. God, even killing another Gallimimus is difficult. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. I mean, there's not really much to do with these things. I mean, they're terrible at combat, so I can't really fight anything interesting. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. So if you like this video, give it a wait, give it a thumbs up, stick, subscribe for more videos, and bye bye, birdie. We. Oh, there was a little bit of a save there. We. We.